Hey everyone, this is AI7HE back with you for another video. I'm going to demonstrate how to link and unlink uh, D-Star reflectors with your hotspot with the uh, ICOM ID50. It's very, very easy and simple to do. And I'm just going to demonstrate the simple steps for you. So right now we are in DR mode, so you need to press and hold DR. And I have my hotspot already um, set up for this. So once I hit DR mode, it should be there and it is there. So next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're in the to section. Don't be in from because if this won't work, you won't be able to scroll. Go into the to section. And what I like to do first is just to make sure that um, my hotspot's not connected to anything. I go to the repeater information tab and I hold the PTT down for one second, just to, just to check. Not linked. So that message says it's not linked, so we are good to uh, connect. I always like to do that just in case I'm connected to a, to a, to a, to a reflector. Um, that way I don't, you know, mess anything up there, so. We are not connected to anything yet. So now we can go to link to reflector. Now you want to press the middle button here, press it again to the reflector and you can press link to reflector again. Now you can either do a direct input, which is, um, um, go to whatever reflector and the ABC. So alpha Bravo or, or Charlie designation. Um, if you haven't connected to this reflector with this radio yet. So if you go back here, all of these are the common reflectors that I've connected to in the past and the radio recognizes that. So without having to go through, you know, manually entering one in, it already had it saved. So um, reflector 30 Charlie, let me have that focus there. XLX 237 alpha and then reflector A35 alpha I've um, connected to in the past, so it's saved there. But uh, if you were to manually con uh, manually uh, enter one in, you just go right here and then go to the number and then the alpha Bravo or Charlie. But I don't wanna take too much time. We're just gonna go to one that's already saved here and we're gonna press the middle button. Now, you may think this is connected, but it's not. You still have to um, uh, connect to it. It's it, it's there ready to, you know, it's kind of like it's in queue. You need to um, still connect it to it. So we're gonna press the PTT one more time for one second. Link two, X, L, X, two, three, seven, eight. And now we're connected, so. And now we're getting audio from XLX237. So I believe this is the East Coast Reflector. So not just D-Star, but there's a bunch of modes in here. All-Star, IRLP, Fusion, DMR, a bunch of modes in here. So it's a worldwide network. But if you want to talk to it or talk into it, you would um, be in the to column. So don't be in from, be in to. I believe from is you, um, you just talk locally. But if you want to talk to the reflector and to the gateway, you have to be in this um, section right here. So you got to be in use reflector and then your audio will be um, transmitted into the reflector that you're connected to. So I'm not going to do that, but then we're going to, let's say we're done talking. 
we're just going to do the unlink reflector section again. Press the PTT one more time for one second. Not linked. And then I'll have the message come up saying we're not linked. So anyway, that's just the basic understanding. Um, it's very simple and easy of how to connect and disconnect link and unlink different D-Star reflectors. Hope that helps if you're having trouble and um, we'll see you in the next video.